can't play Falco. Sorry. I know. <laughs> I, I played him in... I was a Brawl player. Oh, okay. Okay, I, that's I how you got it. into it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It, w it was... Uh, can I tell this story, meanwhile? While we wait? Yeah, until there's a match on, go for All it. Right. So I was a Brawl player, right? And uh, I used to play Falco, and I sure. thought it was pretty good. Like, I beat all my friends. He can double laser in Brawl. Yeah, double laser, yeah. So I go to the El Paso's match scene. Mm -hmm. And to my surprise, there's no Brawl players. <laughs> so they're just like, let's play melee. And Peach was not as difficult yeah. as Falco. Because I knew about like the melee scene, right? Right. So I just played Peach. And, <laughs> and that's how you got into yeah. it. But now I love it. Velvet so Marmot versus ALP. ALP. What does ALP stand for? ALP is his name. Oh, okay. That's his initials. Yes. Okay, I was Yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 he's not named Alp. Uh, his first name is Aaron. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here Actually, we have I don't think those are his initials. Oh. Uh, come to think of it, his last name does not begin with a P. Okay. But straight into it. Oh, so Velvet Marmot. Velvet Marmot, Marmot is uh, number nine in the Louisiana me Mela PR. Solid. And ALP is number seven here in Texas. Uh, new Ooh. sponsor, ARG. ARG, what does that stand for? What I have that? no idea, but he has never had a sponsor before, so shout outs to him and his new yeah. newfound sponsor, ARG. I mean, I've seen him play. Crazy yeah, good. he's really good, and he's also come up very, very recently. Yeah. As well. I think the first time I saw him was like at Forte 3 or Forte 2. Yeah, I don't think he was at Forte 2. I don't think he was uh, traveling when oh, he was okay. playing. You know, he had just, just started at Forte 2. But he plays with uh, Cloud and Pax in, RG in RGB Valley, and right. that's where he learned how to play the game. Are they retired? Yeah, they're re they're currently retired. We'll see how long it takes them until they get back into the game. Let's be honest, you can't quit. You, you can't, can't quit, quit Smash, melee. especially those two. They retire and don't retire so often, you know. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, well, we were rambling about the retiree Marmont just lost the stock. Yeah, ALP also uh, not afraid to dash dance. He's not as laser heavy mm -hmm. as say Waterless Fishy. Yeah. But he definitely likes to dash dance and pick his spots before he goes in. He will, um, yeah, he'll he'll try and outfox you. Okay. You know, just do the fox thing. Mm -hmm. Just do the fox thing. Nice air dodge up to regrab the wedge. Yeah, I really like those double lasers from ALP. Yeah, they just just got him. You know. Yeah. Just to the percentage. They're yeah. Like he didn't really need them per se because uh, Marmot was coming back to stage, but yeah, he threw him out there anyway. Just just to be sure. Right. You know? The extra little things that you can add, you know. Ah, he made it himself. Nice uh, jab reset. Yeah, double the double jab. jab yeah. Super solid opting for the double jab instead of the single jab. Making it a lot mm -hmm. harder to SDI up. Yeah. Definitely possible, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have gone for that. But it's kind of hard to react to that. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, good job from ALP. Mm -hmm. Running over and getting uh, getting the grab on the Velvet Marmot there. I didn't think he'd have enough time. Ooh. Oh. He needs to smash the those a little bit. Yeah, if he smashed you out of way right there, he could have got. He could probably could have gotten to the ledge. Yeah. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, he got up smashed, and the extra shine just for good measure, you know. Yeah. So this is winners finals of pool D four. So mm -hmm. these both of these guys are gonna make it out. Yeah. 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 One of them is getting the two seed, and one yeah. is getting the first seed. But it's definitely looking a little bit into well, not mm -hmm. a little bit, a lot of bit. Right. Well, actually, ALP was floated. He was originally oh, really? the 16th seed uh, of this tournament, but, but then uh, some won. dude showed up and was like, hey, I think I want to go to the Texas tournament. Yeah. Uh, you might know him. Yeah. His name you know, is Mango. Mango. Yeah. And uh, what the kid wants, the kid gets. Yeah. Which was apparently enough to knock ALP down a spot and knock him out of being floated. Ah, uh, that Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, then you feel like pools is a formality at yeah. that point, you know, because you're like, oh, I was already out. <laughs> so this is just a formality. I was already I'm there. Just you know, with, I'm just going to the, my place. Yeah, exactly, exactly, with the comedy. Okay. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it big. I'm going to win. Yeah. And ALP, very much a student of the game. Uh, he he is a match-upper. You know, he definitely... What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is he's not going to play Velvet Marmot as much as he is going to play Sheik. Ah, uh, yeah, Play yes, against, yes, yes, you know. Yes. He'll play the matchup before he plays the player. Honestly, sometimes it's actually spin. That is a better way to go about the game sometimes, you mm -hmm. know, because uh, as, as a lot of top players have said, like, I mean, yes, I'm great, but once I'm getting punished, I'm, I stop being the player and I start being the character. The character, exactly. So you got to have a good foundation before you can start playing the player. Yeah. And uh, that was... Oh, that was almost a shine spike right there from yeah. ALP. That was a scary situation. Velvet Marmot doing a good job yeah. of nailing that first uh, stock. Nice mash by the Bella. I mean, by, by ALP. ALP, yeah. Ooh, uh, just quick. slick enough. Yeah, quick. just slick enough. ALP, uh, also a really good wavelander. Like, he'll hop in with 
<laughs> I love those up tilts. That's such a good position for Sheik to be in right under that platform. But he'll he'll evade situations with his uh, little wave lands from short hop or from the ledge. Yeah. It's uh, super solid, one of his better techniques. Oh, good down smash. Down smash, and the light shield pushes yeah. ALP enough to where he cannot punish. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, it gave him more shield stun. And yeah. so he couldn't get that sh uh, wave dash out to shine. Definitely. And but he could get that shine. Ooh. Thought Velvet Marmot could have maybe angled it right on the pixely pixel of the ledge there. Yeah. But ALP knew better, just held ledge and was able to. And honestly, take that sock. It's, it's not even it's not looking bad for the Velvet Marmot mm -mm. yet. No, he started out in the lead. ALP yeah. has just now, you know, gotten a little control in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, I think this. Honestly, I, I think really yeah, that's gonna do it. I think the series of up tilts that the Velvet Marmot did might have put him in a. Uh, mm, less serious mood, like a trollier mood, like, yeah. ha, ha, I'm up tilting, I'm up tilting, what are you going to do? And uh, kind of knocked him out of his game plan. Game plan, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's a lot of, uh, I think that, I feel like, I don't think the Bell and Marmon is new, but it also affects people that are not, like, pro players that sometimes you're in the lead and uh, you're like, oh, I got this, and you abandon mm -hmm. your game plan. And, uh, and then, you know, you get came back on, yeah. Oh, and this is an opportunity for Eric. Mm. Oh. oh. I was thinking shine Needle. up smash. Good up air to call out the up B. Uh, could have done a couple of things there on landing, but perhaps didn't expect the up air to hit the way it did. Yeah. With the uh, rather weaker hit. Uh, I thought it was going to be an up air, but no, a back air works. No, but this should do it either way. <gasps> oh, that's going to be a throw. Always no. un Yeah, I know. Good DI. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He grabbed the wrong way. Uh, hopefully he gets oh, wrecked, okay. and he does. You know, when you make those kind of trivial mistakes, oh, wow. day one mistakes, you yeah. deserve to lose your stock. Good uh, good comeback in the invulnerability and up smash. Yeah. I mean... Can't really can't really do anything about it, you know? Yeah. Caught him off guard. Yeah, honestly, don't don't charge needles right there. If you see the fox's landing, he's like, shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially shield, roll, get to the ledge, whatever, you know? Get out but of there. Yeah, get out of there. Keep moving. Velvet Marble put up a really good fight, though. Yeah. It seemed like there were specific situations in the match that he was just so unfamiliar with that mm -hmm. it kind of shook him. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess special, especially the way, I guess ALP was, I, mean, I don't want to say he shines, but the way he was using his shines were, mm -hmm. was definitely drawing, draw, throwing. Hmm. Throwing him off, yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he just cleaned it up. You yeah. Know? He just cl he cleaned it up pretty nicely. So ALP will make on to winner side, winner side. of uh, winner side of top 64 tomorrow. Which is just stacking up to be so hype. Yeah. Honestly. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't wait to see the top eight. Yeah, there are going to be a lot of good matches. Yeah. Oh, in top eight especially. I couldn't even give you, uh, you know, who a I would prediction. think would, yeah, who I would think would make top eight, which I love tournaments like that where it's so many, uh, not to say lower seated or lesser players, but so many players that are around the same caliber yeah. that aren't the usual, like, five gods in a tournament. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, though we have Mango and M2K. There are a bunch of those uh, tier beneath and tier beneath that players. Yes. That could just you know, scoop it up and win. Yeah, like cause an opposite.